to test this just in case, but I, I never thought it would actually happen. Kira, it seems you can kill people without having to be there in person. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't just witnessed it. Listen to me, Kira. If you did indeed kill Lindell Taylor, the man who you just saw die on television, I should tell you that he was an inmate whose execution was scheduled for today. That was not me. What? The police arrested him in absolute secrecy, so you wouldn't have heard about him on TV or through the internet. It appears that not even you have access to information about these types of criminals. <laughs> he got you there. But I assure you, L is real. I do exist. Now, try to kill me. You, you bastard. What's wrong? What Hurry the up. hell is going Come on? on right He's now. even taking this kill too me. far. Are you trying to kill yourself, L? What's going on? What's wrong? Look, it's Kim anyway, versus L. A lot of broadcast on me. This is freaky. Amazing. Do it, Kira! Someone What's stop the this. Can't you do it? Well, Kira, it seems that you can't kill me after all. <laughs> so there are some people you can't kill. You've given me a useful hint. Let me return the favor. I'll tell you something that I think you'll find interesting. Although this was announced as a worldwide broadcast, the truth is, we are only broadcasting in the Kanto region of Japan. <laughs> I had planned to broadcast this message around the world until we found you, but it looks like that won't be necessary. I now know where you are. <laughs> this L guy is pretty good. The police treated your first killing as an unrelated incident, but in actuality, the first of your victims was a suspect in Shinjuku. Of all the criminals that have recently died of heart attacks, this one's crime was by far the least serious. Furthermore, his crime was only ever reported inside Japan. I use that information to deduce this much. You are in Japan. And your first victim was little more than an experiment, which means that you haven't been killing for very long. <laughs> we decided to broadcast in Kanto first because of its large population, and luckily, we found you. To be completely honest with you, I never expected that things would go this well, but it won't be too long now before I am able to sentence you to death. El has certainly lived up to his reputation. Uh-huh. He proved that Kira exists, that the deaths were murders, and that he is here in Japan. Naturally, I'm very interested to know how you're able to commit these murders without being present. I believe Kira is telling us that not only can he kill from a distance, but he can also determine the time of death. But something's not right. As soon as we began to suspect that Kira might be a student, the pacing of the killings changed, as if to contradict that theory. Coincidence? No. Too convenient. This can only mean that Kira has access to police information. It's obvious now. This is a direct challenge to me. I'd say El is probably starting to sweat a little by now. What'll really make his job difficult is that I've deliberately left about 50 criminals alive for times like this. Oh? If L's as good as they say, by now he should be starting to suspect someone with connections to the police. So Kira has found a way to obtain information from the task force headquarters. This is one fact that cannot be ignored. But what does he get out of all this? What is he hoping to achieve in the end? There's one thing I don't get. Showing them you have connections to the police makes it easier for them to find you than when they just suspected you were a student. Well, my real agenda is... to get close to L so I can eliminate him. How are you gonna do that? You still don't understand human beings. In this world, there are very few people who actually trust each other. And it's no different for the police, you know. What's especially important is that L and the investigators don't trust each other at all. Think about it. Could you trust someone whose name and face you don't even know? When L discovers that I'm somehow getting confidential information, he'll be obligated to start investigating the police to find the source of the leak. When that happens, it'll only be a matter of time before the police start resenting L. On the surface, it will appear that L and the investigation team are working together to try to catch me. But in reality, L will investigate the police, and they will be investigating L. I'm not the one who's going to find L. 
I can let the police do that for me. And when they do, that's when I'll eliminate him. Perhaps we should think of it like... He's been waiting for this to happen all along. Why would he do something like that? There were a number of people on the task force who distrusted L before this investigation began. And once we got started, we had detectives resigning left and right. Following that, classified information was leaked. So I'm not surprised that he didn't trust us. In other words, he was waiting for the task force to get narrowed down to only those investigators he could trust. And to do that, he needed to weed out anyone who wasn't totally committed. Hmm. If we're working with that guy, I'm leaving the task force. You don't have to worry. I won't try to follow you. I'm not interested in finding L. Well, I think we can trust L, so I'd be willing to cooperate with him on this investigation. Count me in. I'm staying in a suite at the Tato Hotel at the moment, but I'll be switching hotels every few days from this point on. I want you to think of these hotel rooms as the de facto headquarters of this investigation. If this arrangement is acceptable to all of you, then split into two groups and stagger your arrival so you come 30 minutes apart. Please arrange it so you're all here at midnight. Kira, it seems we're getting closer to each other in equal steps. It's only a matter of time before we collide. So be it. I'm ready to show my face. I'll make my first public appearance as L. If you ever manage to find out about these secret meetings, I'm sure you'd feel compelled to move in. That's what I'm counting on. I've been quite active over these last few days. Think carefully. Was there anything I missed? And what comes next? There are endless possibilities. The real battle is only just beginning. It's unlocked. Please, let yourselves in. Mm. This is happening because you chose to make Kira a celebrity! You're getting exactly what you deserve! Oh. I want every single copy you have, and don't make me ask you again! I got it! I'll give them to you! No problem, just please stop waving that gun around! You're acting like a madman! <sighs> we're still outside Sakura TV. As you can see, a police car has just arrived. So we're not alone. There are still other officers out there who are willing to stand up to Kira. Mr. Aizawa, huh? you know Deputy Director Kitamura's cell phone number. Aizawa, I told you not to call me on this phone. This is L. <gasps> There's something I need you to do for me. There may be police officers who will see this broadcast and feel moved to take action in the name of justice. If you don't take control of this situation quickly, there will be a disaster. But technically we're not supposed to be involved in this case. Huh? Oh, two police officers have just collapsed on the sidewalk. I, I think we may be in danger. We're moving away from the scene. I understand, L. I see your point now. Tell me what I should do. Detective Superintendent Yagami. Call him back immediately and give me the phone. I need to speak with Ryuzaki. Yes, it's me, Mr. Yagami. So, you're the one driving the police van. That's right. I couldn't just sit and watch. I've confiscated all of the tapes. I'm bringing them to you. But what about your condition? Are you all right? I'm feeling just fine. To be honest with you, I don't think I've ever felt more alive. So what do you think I should do now? I'd say going out the front would be too dangerous, but I could always use the police van again. Please hold the line for a second. Deputy Director Kitamura, it was Chief Yagami who just drove into the building. Are your preparations complete? It's done as you requested. Mr. Yagami, listen carefully. In exactly five minutes, I want you to come out the front entrance. You want me to exit through the front entrance? However, a 
Above all else, I need to talk to you as Light's father. All right, I'll come. Stalker. I am not your stalker. I'm a detective with the NPA. What? Hey, wait. I remember now. You told me I was being arrested for being the second kid. You mean that was for real? No, you're a stalker. There's no way the police would blindfold me and tie me up all fetishy like that. Anyways, it's kind of weird that you have my hands and feet all tied up, even though you're planning to let me go. Please, just keep quiet. keep coming back to this topic. I'll just get right to the point. What is it? Do you remember killing anyone, I mean? Huh? Are you still going on about that? Look, I'm not kidding. How many times do I- I just want you to answer the question. Well, do you remember? No, I don't. Misa, what about you? I don't remember. How could I? Because I'm not kidding. Look, Light, please listen to what I'm about to say. I'd like you to thoroughly analyze my current theory. This could determine the way in which we end up catching Kira. Light Yagami used to be Kira. Kira's power has somehow passed on to another person. Light Yagami now has no memory of ever being Kira. I need your analysis based on these assumptions. Do you think you can do that for me? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Light Yagami used to be Kira. Kira's power has somehow passed on to another person. Was that because Light Yagami wanted it to happen? Or was there someone else in control of Light, lurking in the background, who gave him the power? Was it that person who passed Light's powers to someone else? Shinigami insisted that it didn't know, but if someone were able to kill simply by writing a name on a torn piece of the notebook, it's not impossible. But there's that rule. Whoever writes a name in this notebook has to write another name within 13 days. Otherwise they die. Light Yagami and Misa Amani are both still alive. 13 days. That's the only problem. Yuzaki, I've been thinking, even if we do manage to catch the person who's been writing names in the Now, try to kill me! Although this was announced as a worldwide broadcast, the truth is, we are only broadcasting in the Kanto region of Japan. In actuality, the first of your victims was a suspect in Shinjuku. Furthermore, his crime was only ever reported inside Japan. I use that information to deduce this much. You are in Japan, and your first victim was little more than an experiment, which means that you haven't been killing for very long. Kira has found a way to obtain information from the task force headquarters. There are 141 people in the police force who have access to classified information regarding the investigation. I am sure that somewhere in this list of police officers, and the people closest to them, we will find our suspect. On December 14th.